or one of the, the questions that you pose is love him or hate him, Obama, you don't really know him. And, um, you know, as someone who is a lifelong Chicagoan, uh, who grew up on the South Side, uh, who knows a lot of the players, uh, for, at least from that part, uh, time of his life, um, I really, I, I believe f full well that if they really knew, if they saw your film, they would recoil. They would not uh, vote to reelect Barack Obama. So look at it just from the point of view of somebody who loves Obama. Okay. Let's put aside for a moment the conservative critique of him. Let's just take someone who really likes Obama. And on, on, in the liberal camp, there's been a mystery for four years now, which is that why is it that when Obama talks about some causes that are very close to the hearts of most liberals, he seems bored? If he's talking about the poverty or the inner city, truly, if you listen to Obama, he's, it's like he's reading from his tax return. And, uh, and this has been noticed, by, by the way. It's discussed. And, and the liberal answer is, oh, Obama, you know what? You've you got to cut him a break. He's too cerebral. Uh, he doesn't operate on the level of feelings. He operates at the level of, like, uh, Hegelian philosophy. So he's just so bright uh, that he's thinking rather than feeling. Uh, if he, so the reason that he doesn't convey compassion about the inner city is uh, he's relating to it at the, uh, at the cosmic level. Okay, I have a simpler theory. The reason Obama doesn't seem to care about the inner city is because he doesn't. Uh, and... Uh, Sad but true. Right. Yeah. So the thing about Obama is that, so from the, from the liberal point of view, it's when they look at Obama, uh, the, you know, I think I mentioned this briefly, the, the Occupy Wall Street guys. Mm -hmm. uh, they're looking at the 1%, the 99%. So the definition of liberalism is within the United States, how much do you want to redistribute? If you want to redistribute more, you're more liberal. Mm -hmm. and, and the film is offering the idea that Obama's off that spectrum. He will redistribute, but his real goal is to redistribute away from America. Now think of what that would mean if, if most Democrats knew that and actually believe that he's doing that. Um, I, I think it would undermine his own base. Um, and, and, and Because, as you point out in the film, even the poorest American is considered the 1% by world standards. Because America barely has enough in the till to meet its obligations to retirees, to pay union pensions. If the ordinary union guy and, and retiree knew that a country that already has all this debt is going to be funneling trillions of dollars to other countries and that this would decimate their own futures and their children's futures, and that from a certain ideological point of view, uh, which is the very opposite of the American dream, the American dream is our kids should live better than we do. Uh, the anti-colonial dream is that our kids should live worse than we do in the name of global justice. 